What church do you go to? I know you've been asked that question a hundred times, but have you ever truly thought about it? Have you ever really considered the question, what church do you go to? Who established it? When was it established? Why do you go there? Do you go there because of the preacher, because of the worship style, because of the location, maybe because you have friends who go there or whatever reason it might be? Or do you go there because you believe it is the truth, because of doctrine, because it's the church that Jesus Christ established? So the other day, I was driving to an event at St. Francis Catholic Church here in Colorado Springs. I drove eight miles west on Woodman Road, and along that drive, I passed eight different Christian churches. And I thought to myself, man, if I wasn't Catholic, which one of these churches would I attend? You see, because all of these churches have different doctrines and teachings, and they compete and they challenge one another, and they contradict even. And I know the Holy Spirit doesn't contradict himself, so I also know that all of these churches can't be the church that Jesus established. While not all of them can be true, there's a possibility that all of them could be wrong. What church do you go to? Who founded it and when? Did Jesus establish a church? Did he build it on a rock? Did the gates of hell prevail against it? Was there a total apostasy? Did he abandon his bride? Or did he establish a church that has the authority to teach? A united, holy, universal church founded by Jesus and built on the apostles. If Jesus did establish a church, would he hide it under a bushel and leave us orphans to discover his teachings all by ourselves? Or did he give us a church we can turn to for morals, for faith, and for doctrine? A church that is the pillar and foundation of truth, the salt of the earth, a light of the world, a city set on a hill. If Jesus did establish a church, is that the church that you go to? What church do you go to?